Volar, it's Volar. Let me Are talk you gonna to do you. the thing? I'll just make myself comfortable. Maybe you can choose what I. He'll do I was just settling in and you can and choose your black eye and maybe he'll give you a cool other eye. He might. He might. Your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about well, mind flares? I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. What? The Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Possible. Impossible. <laughs> so quick to dismiss us, Volo. After everything we've done, all the tales you've already asked, you know, told of me. You're mad. But tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers unless. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. <laughs> I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Dream? I'm having another dream. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Yes. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute. ...and believe it to be a god. That is how the Cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. 
It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. To rest. Health. They need me. I have to go. No. It isn't safe. The power I use to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites. Just like breaking his neck to look at her. <laughs> the cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. You Tall the lady. The parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Freedom! So when she talked to you at the start, did she say, like, you haven't been using your powers? Yeah. Yeah, so we haven't been using them enough, I guess. I thought you might have been, but... No. Oh, the boy's gonna talk. Well, I only used it that one time on that dwarf body, uh, when I was talking to those people. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the <laughs> orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. To sit up out of my chair. Times over. The game chair 3000. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Don't fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye, not through it. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns. And begins to push. Oh God! What? Surgery. The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the Oof. nerve like a harp string. Oh bother! There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer. While wow, you're wearing your a hat, eye. dang. Now, stabbing it right through my hat. Move. Cold metal presses against the skin. <laughs> Everyone disapproves of it. Tap, stab. Do you feel that? Huh? I think we have I've got a small head, all right. You don't actually. I think you. I think dwarves have like giant heads. Oh my god, this looks. <laughs> Which one are you gonna choose? <laughs> 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 Just a little bit of 
Fuck you, Rod. I do have a big head. I think it. I think it was the right eye. The, the sorry, the correct eye. So. I wonder if it'll make a different look. I think it will. If the Hags one does, does then this one must as well. And recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. Oh. <laughs> Green shot. Man, my eyeball, it hurt. Oh, wait, there's no eyeball. Cosmetic damage. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this, a far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. See invisibility? What? See invisibility? Yeah, did that just... Oh, hell yeah! Um... That's cool. Can see invisible creatures within the 9 meters. Creatures must succeed at dexterity saving throw or lose their invisibility. All right, that's well. so cool. Yeah, that's very helpful. Um, I can't really tell if it's any different from here. I'll have to party. Oh, yeah, here's this little village of some sort. Welcome to Joaquin's Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, Elturel. Mm. Smoke. Something's burning. Something's burning. Oh, I don't think I've done this before. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, goblins. Just leave me be. <laughs> leave. Let's break this down. Wait, Zell, you're stronger than me. You do it. <laughs> There's too much smoke. Something over there. Something over where? I can't see. Here. What's happening down here? I fell through the floor. There's a guy above that needs to be saved. I'm helping him. Ooh, I need a strength check. Oh, and I didn't fucking get up. Dying here at the moment. Oh my god. Uh, thank you. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? Say, um. Yeah, I'm talking to him at the moment. <coughs> I can't fucking see. Is it through this way? Let me break this door.
Oh, I need to help him out. Am I in combat at the moment? What's happening? Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of there, come on. Wits and blades always shock. Take two. Slaughtered everyone. Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary, no. Moonrise Towers along the old road. That. Mary. No. Gods, no, no, no. You should have stayed. You should have been with me. I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still... She'd still be here. It's for a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. Aww, poor Mister. man. Surprised this hay hasn't gone up in flames yet. You'd think some starving beast would have eaten this hay by now. I need a hand in this shed over here for a perception check whenever you're ready. Okay. There's something a bit funny about this hay. I'll feel that one later. What is it? Just on the left. This hay hasn't gone up in flames yet. Someone's here. Hey! A dowry ring. Ah, that's so. Yeah, the man, the trap man, was talking about how they were wanting to keep the dowry ring instead of giving it to their sister or something. Ah. Um. Dun dun dun. Now we can either keep the ring and sell it, or we can give it back to him. It only has like, it's like worth the piss all, really. Alright, I think we might give it back to him. Oh my god, there's a fucking fright Nox in here! I'll give it to you. Thank you. For one, his hide twitches, every muscle primed to bolt. He's terrified. He huffs. And after a moment, appears to relax. Good fella. I know this doesn't change anything, but it helps. Thank you. I. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Zentarim. Zentarim, very fancy name for a basement. The Zentarim are like a kind of organization, but I can't remember what they are or who they serve. Well, I'm sure. We shall find out. Stop wasting my time. What are you talking yelling about, Lazelle? That's a friendly looking shadow. Light on my feet. The 
did you find something? Uh, I found a key. I, yeah, I don't know what it goes to. Oh, it might be to the wardrobe. Shit. Map and you. Actually, if you want to go talk to them, I need to be right back for a second. Alright, you don't want to wait for you to look at the conversation or Uh you can That's do it. Okie dokie. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Big words. Still, takes steel to swagger in here. If you're half as tough as you think you are, I might have a job for you. We've disarmed the traps. Come down. Not many can talk their way into a Zentarim outpost. I could use someone with your skills. Interested in a job? Some of our people are missing. More importantly, so is their cargo. Find them. Keep them alive if you can. Failing that, just bring that shipment back. Unopened. I'm offering hard coin, not idle answers. All you need to know is that I'm willing to pay a hideous sum to get it back. Unopened. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, so these dudes are the dudes that want that chest. Oh. Do we want to give it to them for some money or kill them? I think if we kill them, we can probably deliver it ourselves. Um, yeah, let's do that. Alrighty, um, so there's a few of them around. I'm guessing if I... I don't think they'll attack me straight away. Um, and on the way here, all the traps are disabled so you can walk on top of them. Like down, down, down here? Yeah, down the path past the gates. Um, okay. I'm in a cut, I'm in a dialogue so I can't see where you're marking, but um, yeah, they said, disabled all the traps because they yelled at them. It's gold I'm offering. Not a marriage bond. So, Spend your coin and be on your way. But be quick about it. Fight. We're blowing this place soon. Where are you? You're up there. Mm-hmm. I just need to get into a spot myself. I don't know how many are up around here. I think it's just this lot, so. These dudes are probably all weak anyway. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, um, I will hit this chick first. Bonk. Sort of fight, and now you have one. <laughs> drow poison. Not the drow poison. Oof. Oof. I wasn't expecting that. Look at that little fella up there. Okay, 
can't play as Lazel now. So much oil around. On my way. I was thinking of giving it a burn, but I don't think so. Piss off. Oh, jumped right over you. Can't shoot him from here. Nice. Well, they all catch a break. Oh. <laughs> What's next? I drive it. God's preserved me. Yeah, we're a dragon. Not a dragon. All right, so we'll go to camp. Browse far as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells, older Raven God's been taken. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see? Grand Duke Ravenguard is my father. I know I haven't said Whoa! So he's a son of a no duke. Of wow. He's full of all of unexpected surprises. And look at you now, Will. <laughs> You're a devil. Nice, nice outfit you got going on there. It's very freeing. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. It's all connected. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. I know, and you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory, a man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. Will Raven God. I thought the little, the little baby owl there would be here by now, but I guess not. Hopefully he didn't die. Ah, here it is. You recognize the feathered creature. Don't you scare it away! <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> I 
Fetch him a piece of food, you reckon, or...? Yeah. Right. Oh, everyone approves. The cub's eyes yeah. lock onto the food in your hand. Yay! <sighs> Toss the food down, keep the food ahead, and... I will just... Careful. Once that thing's eaten through the camp, it might start looking at you. Shh, be quiet, Shadow Heart. Oh my god, what did you just do, Shadow Heart? I'm not chasing after it, if that's what you're thinking. It better not run, run <laughs> I hope it didn't run away. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Margresham. Yeah, Margresham. Just another harassing fool trying to get to Baldur's Gate in one piece. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, <laughs> that is. <laughs> that side eye underneath the body hat. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Rag. Drop your weapons! Oh. I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Oh shit. You fucking burn the bridge down. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its night. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Bye. You're so little. You can't see your face. Oh, I'm in the background. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, the hat's peeping out. The dragons serve Gith Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. I don't know about that. Okay, down the rock I go. Kithrak, we must speak. Damn, look at that fucking dragon. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Looks like a grandma. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Gake vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands any more than it does the absolute followers. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate.
Please, 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 please. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. You got it right. I couldn't see the roll. Caretaker with haste. Lazel, child, your lies sting. Has Vlakith not demanded better? Vlakith demands my purity, Kithrak. I was infected aboard a Geish ship. By protocol, you must aid me. You were on the Nautiloid. Then you are a Geish wearing Githyanki skin. Bend your head for the sword. I have done no wrong, Kithrak. Our Queen's word binds me. Beretha, see that her skull is split and her corpse examined on Vlakith's command. I will take word to the Undying Queen. Our search continues. To Danos! To the sky! I've got it in my pocket. Oh my god! Three attacks and an action surge, oh god. <laughs> well then. What the fuck? Let's see how long you last for. Yay! No! Nice. Not nice. Oh my god! Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying oh. queen. Oh, I guess we don't have to fight him this time. Deception carries Boss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Okay, let's a much easier approach. You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The distilled Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn. Yep, he did. Sun, all for the sake of the artifact that the crash is near. This much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble still Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Yeah. What's next, I wonder? Flaming fist, eh? Have to keep going. Not the flaming fist. These teethlings prove fragile. The fuck? Never mind to end their misery myself. <laughs> Zivlo stuck in the rock over here. <laughs> a scout just reported. The gob and I hear you are the one. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much. It's not enough, but it's all we have. It's quite a day for reunions. How Sin has returned, too. And I expect he'll want to speak with you. As for us, no armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight. A party? The ox is better be there. I'm not gonna talk to Halsey just yet. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna sell some stuff. I mean, makes you go crazy, wild, or something. Do you want from Eltero? What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will in the Arch Devil's Ariel. Barking. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Eltero. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Phew! You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together 
tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help. I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Meanwhile, I've still got plenty of weapons and armor in stock if you're looking to load up. Forged from the heart. How fares the search? Oh, did I keep the fucking iron on? Ugh, keep the iron on Shadow Heart. How fares the search? Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it, and that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect me that kind of need. That feels... good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. It could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? So is that what the soul coins are? Infernal iron or something? No, 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 so infernal iron is just infernal iron. Um, we found some of that in the, um... That cave we were in before, so... We'll just have to find along the way. Alright, I gotta talk to Karlak and then I should be ready to roll to the house and... But it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. Remember, stay near the center of the group. With the leadership dead, no attack will be mounted on the grove. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Korga. Poor child. The Grove will be a dimmer place without her potential. But you were right. You had no choice. I failed her long before you arrived. The Shadow... But the Grove still stands even if she does not. Thanks to you. If only you had come to this place in more peaceful times. You'd have been a welcome addition. The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. And I'll never be able to take you with me, because I'm a druid and you're a druid and we can't all be druids. No! Right, I'm going to quickly talk to a rat. You've done it. You brought house in back. Thank you. To be expected. I'm glad you survived intact. 
And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows bright... We're ready to head Are to you ready camp. for me to start the party you... at all? I'm ready to go if you're ready. Excellent. Seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean, desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. And yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? <coughs> we should wait a little while. <coughs> until the others have drifted off. Yeah. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not yeah, yeah, to yeah. entertain myself. Let's go. Get in with the shadow heart. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be behind you, Asarian. Possible. Speaking of, from where I'm standing, it looks like you and Shadow Heart are getting more familiar. She's a funny one. All pointy and secretive, but it seems like there's someone very sweet beneath it all, you know? Good to see the two of you getting along anyway. At least one of us is getting a little action. Though, you know. Oh, Carl like wants to meet up later now as well. You wanted to meet up later, Sorry, no. Meet up? Not this playthrough. Meet up. <laughs> You, me, bed now. I know. But you only live once. And if you never throw your dart, you'll never hit the bullseye. <sighs> ah, that is agonizing. And Gail's talking about another I woman. Oh. I guess. Well, look, soldier. I won't always be too. Maybe he's talking about his cat. Deeds. You may regret to find that I happen to be very. A man and his cat. Underneath the searing lethal flames. Enjoy the party, and enjoy so and so too while you're at it. For now. Yeah, get out of here, Carlac. I'll find you later if Shadow Heart doesn't work. Giving up on myself. Her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumb. Remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you, an unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, very funny. 
But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring <laughs> in a ten day or more. You smelly. I don't appreciate your musk. Ugh. Actually, rather like it. Oh. He loves his <laughs> sweaty, smelly droid. For me to stop babbling on. I just realized my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing a dead lady's clothes, uh, uh, um, what is it, camp clothes or whatever. Yeah. Her underwear, per se. I don't know what a rudite means. You know, babe, something, <laughs> I don't I know. Were I to recite that list, I fear we'd be here at dusk tomorrow. Many things, I assure you. But a conversation better saved for another time. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue excitement may to me. Aww. Three. Go. <laughs> Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. No, how nice of him. Billy Gale, I wanted to have a sweet little this night with you. This may be talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my <sighs> next song. Alright, um, have you talked to Will at all? Maybe nah. Oh, I'll talk to him after. I'm just talking to the, um, the bard. Ooh, that's very visceral. I might tone it down a touch, but She I wants to write a song it. about me. That's cute. Alright, where is Wall? Will's down there now. What are you doing down there, Will? He's doing something secretive, something dirty. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. You didn't go too far. Really? I'm honored, in truth. I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettled them deep down. Uh, As I they're, seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. They're like tieflings, they have horns too. <laughs> I mean, they're not devil devils, the but yeah. you know. see. Close. A horn's a horn, so. don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. <laughs> there are spikes in places there really shouldn't be. <clears throat> but off with you. <laughs> poor fella. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy Just the music. Find another sp spiky lady to enjoy it. I want to dance with you. No. <laughs> You're in posh. Let me tell. No. Okay. Sometime alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I don't care. I want to dance with you. I want to dance with Gail. Where's Halson? Is he here? He's in the corner over there. He's next to Will's camp. Oh, there you are. Okay. I see. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Losing my religion. No one wants to talk to me. Like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem Ooh. tomorrow. Can I romance him? Should I romance him? I mean, it's up to you. Like, is I Gale doing like, it for you? Well, I mean, I like Gale, but I just don't know. Like, I'm kind of scared he's gonna leave me. In he's the got his mind on other time. women, you know. Halson's a one, <laughs> one, one, you know. Yeah, he's man. Like a good guy. He's like the equivalent of Karlak, because Karlak's like, I reckon she's like a strictly good character, you know? Yeah, like, she's one that has a very, uh, very rough outside, but in the inside, it's yeah. like a good person, so. Exactly. Well, look, you know, it's up to you. You've worked your way with Gale so far, mm -hmm. but. I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely resourceful. 
I love if there was an option to be but able to just many great double romance. To spend time with. I mean, I know you can. I must not keep you all to myself. Like, like yeah, you can like get with people, maybe. multiple people. Mm. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some. Okay. Well, I guess we t have talked to everyone. Okay. Let's shut her heart, Carl down. Uh, Alfira, Asterian, you've done Lazora. Yeah, she doesn't have anything to say. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match you. A pity for us, you have promised your knight to the half-elf. Hey, I ain't sitting with you, alright? Leave. <laughs> Just leave. I will give myself to the half-elf. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Whoa! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Adoring the claws? <laughs> Your Objectives talk to Zevlor. I don't know where he is. All right, he's over in Helsin, isn't he? So fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Okay. Can you talk to him at all? Let's have a chat. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so. Thank you. Maybe it's a uh, in the morning sort of thing. Yeah. Go to bed. Oh my god, the music still playing. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Oh yes, let's go. Lots of people make promises. Oh, I get a, I get the option to fantasize about Gale taking me in the weave. Oh. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? I'm gonna peek into your conversation. Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Come on. It can't be just a drink. Now tell me something about yourself. These are real people. You can't just <laughs> have really, like you know. Got to work it up. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I mean, unless you're with Lazelle, but <laughs> I said like two sentences to Lazelle and she wanted to blink me. But that's true. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Well, I was a wrestler. Yeah. Not just as things are getting interesting. Uh, I don't want to fail this. Give me a guidance if you can. Are you still watching this? Cheers. Oh. Don't laugh, but. I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. Where I come from, that's frowned upon. Good. A little mystery will keep you on your toes. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Perfect. What a lovely little cutscene. Oh, there's more. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. Look at the size of these fucking hands. <laughs> what? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. Go for it. 
Oh, she approves! In some old dwarf action. <laughs> Big dwarf lips. Not big hands nose. compared to her. Holy <laughs> shit. Good to know. For the future. Pain. Let's mean pain. If we must. Don't know. Maybe she bit his lip or something. Mm. <sighs> yes. I trust you enjoyed your evening. Oh. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise then. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow. The those fucking biceps on them, man. There's veins. Souls. You could go overland. Along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Sounds rather ingenious. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. To the Underdark! Anything is yes. possible to risking the Oh, Shadow Heart proves, yes! I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. May Sylvanas guide us. Welcome to the party, hail soon. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to... Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid. Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. If only everyone said that. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oakfather's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Indeed. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must the be... The Shadow Curse! I helped overthrow Catherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. 
but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand... Allison's like the buffest elf I've ever seen in my life. He really is, yeah. But I think it's a better look for a druid in a way, like, instead oh, of just yeah. being like a stick, <laughs> like a stick and that, so... Yeah, like another like Legolas type mm. elf. Oh, I like it. Precisely. So you're going to bring him along with us to the Moonrise Towers, or...? I don't know, just because... it seems like he's... I put far too he'd be, much like, I think we'd do, do farm with two druids in the party. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. And it seems like he's in, he'd be important... <coughs> excuse me, important to go to the Moonrise Towers, since he's... Yeah, for sure. Like, we will take him at some point <laughs> for his quest and stuff. Yeah. But I'm not sure for the rest of the journey, I guess we'll have to see. Hmm miss it <laughs> oh dear no it's a terror all's well i hope no i just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together oh cute we talked and kissed I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Yeah, like fuck a bear. <laughs> I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm well, I definitely sure don't want to hear the sounds if you do choose to fuck a bear. You'll keep, just hear keep grunting. It, keep it far away from the Full kid. Grunt. Growling and grunting and bumping and whatever Brrr. else. Very serious of you. Okay. Go ahead. Always good when I'm with you. Wait, why is Gail wearing a hat? Did you put, did you put one on him? Yeah, but he hasn't been wearing it. <laughs> He's like, I want to wear this hat. <laughs> so I'm all geared up, ready to go. <laughs> Looking mighty fine there, boy. He's got water sparkle boots and sparkle hands. Well, they're blue, them two kind of, kind of match in a way, but then that helmet is just... Nah. First time in the Underdark. I'm excited. 